Welcome to the channel Imagine Art. Here is Katya, and today we are going to draw such a beautiful painting, Paris. It will be some kind of a visualization. This painting will be good for the beginners and also for advanced painters. These uh, colors will be very beautiful. Let's get started. And to start to draw our beautiful painting, we need these materials which are in front of you. Let's check if everything is in front of you. I have a canvas 30 by 40 on stretches. I have three brushes, a thin one, a big one, and a middle-sized one we will all need. And also I have one more tool, it is Mastichin. It, it looks very old, but uh, I will explain you also how to use it. If you don't have Mastichin, I will tell you how you can replace it with a brush. I also have wipes. If your hands are dirty, you can use wet wipes, a glass of water and a palette with acrylic paints. My colors, the main colors today are black and white and you can take the other colors. I have bright pink and neon pink and also dark pink. They will show the special effects today. And we start without a sketch today. We will take a white brush, dip it into water. And we need to mix a light gray color today, very light. We take white color and a drop of black color. Take it with a dip with the tip of your brush. And with this light gray, I will take a little bit darker to show you better. We start. First of all, we will divide our canvas into two parts. The lower part we divide also into two parts. And here we draw a short line. And here. And we connect our lines. It will be horizon. Don't try to do it very even, because we will cover it with the paints. Then, now I will tell you the technique. I called it not well mixed colors. We take thick white color and a little bit of black. I don't mix it very well, I leave it like that. I take it with my white brush to show it colorful and we cover our top background with random strokes. The shade should, should be very, very light. I apply my strokes very randomly from left to right, from top to bottom. In this technique gives us a special effect of difficult colors with difficult shades. Also don't mix it very well. Don't take too much of black color because it's very pigmented. If, if your sky is too dark, you can apply this color in the corners because it can be it can be darker here for this painting though it consists of three colors you need a lot of white paint because we apply it very thick random and in this way we cover our background Don't forget to apply your strokes randomly. It shouldn't look very ideal. You see that my white paint is finished very quickly. This will be our sky. At the end we will add some accents with our mastichin. To work with Mastichin is not difficult, don't be afraid of this tool. Maybe it looks so, but it's not very difficult to work with it. Don't add too much water. 
because the pen should be thick. And in this way, with my white brush, very confidently we cover our sky. Now at once we will cover our bottom side where we will have the bench, the bridge. For that we will need a um, darker color. That's why in this way we take white color and add a little bit more black color and, and cover our ground. Here we need horizontal movements, horizontal strokes. You can leave this place without covering, if you wish. In this, with the same grey color we can cover our lower edge and top edge, so that the painting won't need the framing and will look very good in your room. We also use the same technique of unmixed colors and you apply your paint randomly. Well done! And we leave it like that. Now, to go further we need to wash our brush. Will you cover the edges, I think. I will do it at the end. And we will take a thin brush and we'll sketch a tower. The paint is not dried, but it's very good because it will mix with the other color and will give a very interesting effect. We take black color, just a little bit, add a little bit of water, just a little bit, to make it more liquid. And we start sketching our tower. Our tower is not in the middle of the painting. We need to go a little bit to the left, a couple of centimeters. We put a dot. And with a very slight dotted line, you can make a support with your hand if you need, if your paints are dried, but my paints are not dried. I will do it very carefully. I draw a line, dotted line, so to see and to make it more even, just like that. You see that my paint is mixed with white color and gets lighter. Now we will start with the top, draw a short line. We need two parallel lines right here. near our dotted line and we will go down and draw it more white. We will divide our tower into parts and a little bit lower we draw such a line. The tower looks like the letter A and we need to show it and we start to draw it wider very very carefully should look very symmetric if it's not very good you can take white color and cover it and try again now we white it even more to the down you can also draw some dots here to to help this distance we take in the same way here Just like that. You see that I don't try to draw every line very good, it should look like a sketch. Sometimes my lines disappear, sometimes they are darker, sometimes they are lighter. Now we need to make some volume. We take this distance and we draw a line to the top. Here 
here near the middle we draw this line and it disappears very good now the same distance we take here and here we will draw an arch and here we also need an arch you should be very attentive it should have the same height then we draw a line here parallel line above our arch and one line should go lower because it's perspective and now we repeat these lines now do you remember we draw a line here we draw the same line lower here in the left side and here we have some kind of an of a window well done now we need to fill our tower with some kind of a fish net i repeat one more line and with crosses very randomly we fill our tower and one more here don't try to draw them very good should look like a sketch because our tower is very far and here if your paint mixes too much with the white color don't be afraid of it you can repeat your movements when it's dried one more line here and here and you repeat your pattern with a fishnet here both sides in this window we draw one line to show the volume like it is 3d and here we have the bottom side of our tower here we will draw some kind of lines everything should look very very simple you don't need any details very quickly and here all around it doesn't look even like cross so we we want to add one more leg one more arch and we make a shade here right here there is a shade that's it our tower is ready are ah, also the top we draw a cone here that's it let's leave it now now we can draw a bush here and here is the the tree we need draw color draw paint we need to mix it with water we will divide our distance into two parts we will have some narrow lines draw a line randomly also don't try very best and now we will draw three arches one that will be a bridge two and three it goes far the arches we start under the leg of our tower and we finish near the background so now the bridge we continue further it's too liquid this line we continue here and we will draw a parallel line under and short lines that will be a bridge then we will draw a road i don't try very well that is a style of a sketch now 
we will draw a straight light with black color near our tower where we have our window we put our dot small dot and we draw a small round we will draw our details and the most important we will draw later we double it two semicircles we have here small dot on the top and two dots from the left and from the right sides now we draw one more arch from one dot to another just like that and now we draw parallel line very even parallel to our canvas for that we take some more of black color and we draw a dotted very thin line make a support with my hand and I finish here near my bridge that's it at the bottom we will draw a base I draw two short lines one two then we will make it wider or you can do it at once but try not to do it very wide just like that we leave it for the best times now let's draw a tree we need a middle sized brush and we mix dark gray color for that we take white color black color we mix it now we can take more of a black color and with this color we can sketch our tree it starts here from the bridge we draw it diagonally yes you take this distance here from the window and put a dot and start with a dotted line this movement this is a movement of our tree now we can make it more even the trunk is not very even it goes wider to the bottom just a little bit and at this level of our window this one we draw one branch to the top the, the branch should should be thinner than a trunk because the tree always goes wider to the bottom and we need several more branches with such short lines along the sky let's imagine here we have our leaves that's it we leave it now with this gray color we can go along our ground here we have some kind of bushes and we draw them randomly we apply our strokes let them be transparent it's okay when the brush is ready and now we can apply horizontal strokes also dark gray but our light gray should be transparent also you can apply very thick it, it will look very effective and with the same gray color we will cover our bushes which are around our tower we should leave our window and we draw just a little bit of strokes don't draw them very even sometimes lower sometimes higher they shouldn't look like a fence just randomly just like that we apply base for our bushes 
behind the street light very carefully. That's it, we leave it. Now one more time. We need to wash our brush and with the same color, with the same gray color. With the same gray color, we will go here. From the street light, diagonally, we apply our paint with such strokes to the corner. From the street light. Because here we have a shade, here we will draw a bench also. That's it. Now we will take our gray color and we will add a little bit of pink here or any other shade which you want any other color we get dark color you can add a little bit of white if it is very very dark and with this color we need to make a shade under our tree we hold our brush just like that your brush can be very dry then it will be easier for you because it will be very fluffy and with such movements we apply some kinds of clouds here along our tree on our branches see we have a branch and here we make a cloud very very slightly you apply your paint The most part of our dark clouds will be here in the middle and to the edge when we go to the background just a little bit, very very slightly with the tip of your brush. Because our branches are very thin here and the shade is also little. With the same color we go to the left side of our painting. Here we have a bush. The most part of the shade is here. In the same way, with the same technique, we apply our paint. Now we can see that our autumn is very gray, but we will add some more bright colors and it will look very good. Here our bush is very fluffy. You can make them more fluffy. Our bush will go till the middle of this place but at the edges we apply our paint very slightly the same with the tree just a little bit that is the base now we can wash our brush and now we take black color with the same brush middle sized brush and we will go along our trunk from the right side we'll start with a branch this here we have and along the left side we draw we apply our strokes but we don't mix them all together because it is trunk it should look like a real tree and it will go wider here to the ground here on the bridge then with the same color we will add some strokes to our bushes to look them more fluffy to different sides and a little bit shade here with horizontal movements. Here we will have leaves and then let's take the same black color and with the tip of our brush we will draw a shade here 
we will draw dotted even line here but not very even don't try it very well your line should go above the bridge we need to have some space here and in the same way like a sponge we apply our paint at the bottom side of the brush of the bushes it is a shade at the end of the work we can spray some paint it will look very good if you doubt in your work you can always spray paints on your work and it will look effective just like that wash your brush and now we will sketch a bench with a thin brush and then with black color we will apply some shades we take black color I add a little bit of water to make it more liquid and I draw a bench it is right here parallel to the street light put a dot and diagonally we draw a line now we draw one more line right here and right here this is our line and this line should go like that we connect these dots this is it and now we need to draw a back we will draw nearly parallel this seat it should go narrow here because it is perspective we we'll connect our dots very strictly to the top parallel to the canvas we draw two short lines and we connect them be attentive this part is wider than the right part of the bench very well if your bench is not very good we will take some more black color and cover it later wash your brush take a middle sized brush we take black color and around our and in the middle of the seat and the back we apply this black color right here and around it will be a base for our shade and under the bench just a little bit the paint can be mixed with the other colors it's okay and here we also apply black color on the background and we can add black color here like a sponge again just a little bit so we shouldn't have some even lines our shade goes into bush very very slightly very good if you have some even place here you can blend it with your finger not very much just a little bit again that's it now here we have one more place we need to add some more black color like a sponge just a little bit to cover this place with black color now wash your brush and we need to change the water because we start to work with bright colors and white color so we continue our work we wash our white brush in our glass of water to wash off the paints and now we will work with white color it once get prepared with your mastichin but if you don't have it you take the white brush i will help you and will explain how to use them i will start with mastichin it is some kind of a spatula 
and it is very easy to work with it like you spread the butter on your bread you take on your external part the paint it is more convenient we take some white color it should be pure if you work with mastichin with different colors you can mix your colors also with this mastichin but we don't need it today but you can get some special effects take some more of white color very thick and we start applying it very very slightly as if you spread the butter you press and we get such a stroke like flakes with the same movements we apply it don't make it in one direction do it randomly maybe you did one big stroke and the other should be small just like that very small here take it very thick because it should should look very very interesting just like that sometimes they are transparent not so not so much volume you see that i take a lot of white paint some places should be even scratch it with mastichin you see i don't touch this place because we will have a bush here till the street light that's why we, we apply our paint just a little bit in this place here in the middle of street light and tower and here now let's go along the sky under the tree with such strokes you can make them even make or you can press and you will get the relief you don't need very much with the white color and with mastichin i will show you better with the brush we take the same in the same way like a spatula we apply our paint in the same way so in this way your strokes will be more even but if you want to make it not so accurate you need mastichin now let's go to the bottom to these bushes and with white color we add some more of strokes you can do it with mastichin or with brush or with mastichin just like that very very shortly scratch a little bit into different sides from the left to the right from the left or from the right and where we have our tower but we be very very careful because we need this window to be seen just a little bit here the same way we need to take our mastichin or brush and here apply also some kind of a bush with such movements i touch my paint very very slightly because i nearly not touch it into different sides you draw a flower they should look very scratched it should look in this way not to look it like a white spot i will add some strokes also around and here where we have our leaves just a little bit not so much i will blend them and here now we don't need our mastichin anymore wash your brush
And now with a middle sized brush we will continue. With white color, with a middle sized brush we continue our white strokes right here under the tree, under the tower, horizontal stro strokes from the left to the right and here where we have our arches from the bridge we draw like that, we leave this gray space and we draw a semicircle but we leave this this place I'm always afraid to confuse the sides with white paint we add some short strokes here above the bridge not to show different colors and now let's go to our bench you should be very very careful here we draw two lines one two but we need a gray line in the middle and in the same way here one and at the bottom where we have our seat one and two We can also mix grey color to draw our small dots here in the middle of back and seat, one and two. And at the bottom, just a little bit, draw just a little bit here. One spot, because we don't have any details in this painting, we don't try to do it very well. So now we will go to small details later. Now we will continue with our tree. We we'll take a middle sized brush, make it fluffy. You can make it dry. And now we take pink color, dark pink. We can mix it with white a little bit. Don't mix it very well. It will give you an interesting effect and with the same technique with the tip of your brush we go around our clouds as if we draw some kind of clouds yes one and two at the end we will draw some branches above our gray clouds we go here, closer to the tower. The closer to the tower, the smaller the dots. Very, very slightly. I nearly don't touch. If it is not very convenient with a middle-sized brush, you can, you can take a thin brush, but for me it's more convenient like that. As if you don't try very well. Now we worked with the external side and now we go to this side. Here we have more flowers, more leaves. We will get some more shades, some more colors. That's why don't be afraid to cover your tree like that till the top and at the bottom right here. So it shouldn't be very white here go on the tree if your paint is not dried it's okay take it thick and apply it very thick the closer to the sky the smaller the dots remember about it and go down all the branches go down just a little bit and we go to the top our tree will get wider here that's why we can do it very very confidently we will add some more smears later if it is too much with pink color you can add some other colors and also white color in the spaces 
to make it more transparent or maybe branches and when we go to the background we add just a little bit with very very small dots just like that and here in the same way if you go to our white smears of from mastichin it's okay and here we will add a little bit more should look very proportional very very slightly now we leave it like that we go to our bush here to this place wash your brush because it can make dirty after gray color and your, your color can be very dirty that's why it's better to wash it try not to get black color into your color to a pink color and let's go here with this bush you use the same technique you draw clouds just like that in the middle and on the edges you draw very small clouds this bush the branches of this bush go to the top and the small ones at the bottom go here to the street light so we want to show a bigger bush but it shouldn't go on the bench and even further very transparent very lightly slightly and to the top you can show the shape here our branches go to the top to the sky but they should look like clouds we have the same techniques everywhere they look on the tower and here where we have our gray and pink spots we also cover with this pink color white sky shouldn't be seen here cover it with the same color you can cover your edges at once with the same movements then it will show 3d effect or you can just cover it like that and here we will add a little bit more and a couple of branches here now with dark pink no let's take the same color and let's draw the leaves which are on the ground with horizontal strokes very short apply your pink paint just a little bit we don't need very much now let's wash the brush and with dark pink this bright dark pink we will draw the shade very pure color we draw it in the middle of our clouds right here with the same technique we apply our dark pink but we don't need it very much because we need it for the shade not so much so our leaves shouldn't look very flat in the middle of our clouds just a little bit remember about it don't take too much it's better to add later than now We add it mostly in the middle of our tree where we have our trunk. In the middle, we cover our sky. It shouldn't be seen. Mm -hmm. 
and here a little bit we go around our clouds and it looks like shade we will draw some more branches later now uh, about the background we don't do anything here we go to our bush here we also apply our paint with the same technique we cover our white spaces if you have them the most part of our dark places are here to the end to the edge of our canvas and here when we go to the sky we add just a little bit in the middle of our branches very good now we need to make the color with the same technique we mix light light rose we need pure white and a little bit of pink we take more of white color we add a drop of pink if you have the second rose you can also add it to get more beautiful shade this pink should be lighter than our main color main rose main pink and with this color we draw above our clouds a little bit with such movements as before here we go at the edges more you can go on the sky and here here don't cover your sky too much because it should be transparent it should be seen and here in the middle apply a little bit of your light pink then on the top very very slightly you can do it very quickly a little bit on the background because our tree is very fluffy but it shouldn't look very round that's why you can go on the background with your light pink if you think that you took too much you can take a little bit of gray and cover on the edges to show for example here to show the sky the trunk with the same color we can draw our leaves on the ground a little bit and with the same color we go with this color we go to our bush and with the same technique we go on our edges we apply paint here with very very short strokes now let's add here you can take any color instead of pink if you like some other color it will be at your home and you can take any colors and if it is too thick blend it with your finger to make it more transparent so when you choose the colors you can choose the colors of your room any other bright colors or you can make it more autumn then you go on your background here on the edges now we have bright pink i will go along my trees with this color too it's neon we need it for contrast i take it just a little bit and i apply it in the middle of light and dark color i add some dots 
along our clouds. We need it to make it more colorful. You don't need it, it's obligatory, but it looks very good. And you can use your finger again to blend it. Or you can cover it with other color. A little bit of pink here. This color is very beautiful when we mix it with white. That's it. Little bit in the middle also. Now when I look at my tree, I think it is very dark in the middle. That's why I will add some light colors here. You have to step back to look at your painting because then you understand where you are right and where you are wrong. When you concentrate in one dot, you don't see the whole painting. Especially if the painting, if the size of your painting is very big. Here on the edges. I will add some light color here in the middle. And we will work a little bit with the details and that will be finished. Just a little bit of light color here. I need one more cloud here. And if you took too much of dark colors, we take white or gray color. It's not very important. And in some spaces we add white dots. Well, I have them, but if you need, you can do this work. And here in the same way, from the external side. Now, we wash our brush, take a thin brush, and with dark color, you can add a little bit of water. Let's draw the branches. Our branch goes from here, like it goes from the trunk. Some branches are here, mostly in the shade side, where you drew with dark colors. Your branches go to the top very thin, the higher you go, the thinner they are. And from them also there are some branches. Don't connect them all together, they should look very detached. They look out just like that. If you want to draw them here, then draw very, very thin. So now this bush, it's more fluffy and the branches should be very short and mostly in the middle very very slightly like short tails in the shade side don't forget Just a little bit, you don't need very many branches and on the edge. Now wash your brush. Let's take a look at our street light, it's not finished yet. Let's mix gray color. It shouldn't be very dark. And let's paint our top. And with white color. We will add some glare on the top and at the bottom. And here on our short lines, 
need to take it thicker here and here. You can add also some glares here, but be very careful. Also with white color you can go along your bench because it looks too dark. And here under the bench we need some white strokes. Blend it with your fingers. We shouldn't have some homogeneous places. And with white color let's go along our tower and our flowers just a little bit. We add just a little bit on our trees. And here. With a thin brush and our tower. In some places, not very much, we need to show some accents. For example, we can circle our arch. Add on some lines between the crosses on the top just a little bit with white color you can go along your bushes just a little bit also because they look very homogeneous too take a look at your work if you have some homogeneous places you also have to add some white color here and here but not at the same place in the same way with mastichin you can make some pink strokes without any problem it will look very beautiful you'll get the volume actually we have finished our work but if you haven't covered your edges you can do it right now that's the time you can also make a signature with your name, with your nickname, some sign, maybe a number of your insurance, why not? Anything that you would like to. So, we are done with our amazing painting. I'm sure that you've got new knowledge, that you've got a perfect result. Please comment on our video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell and you will see many more videos.